morning. Hi Ed, hi Katie, good morning. Listen, you know when you put on that perfect outfit and then you cap it off with a pair of fire kicks? I'm talking fire, yeah. I'm feeling that today, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. <laughs> Almost pulled my hamstring with that. I'm not flexible at all. But I got the inspiration from one Buffalo native who turned a side hustle and a Bills fandom into a full-on career. Sneakers are a talking point. I do it because I'm a sneakerhead. The colors, the shape, or if you're Cheyenne Myers. Like, if it's something simple like this, it probably only take me like two hours. The design. Since I did this logo so many times. It's almost like natural. Myers was born and raised on the east side of Buffalo. When she got home from the Army in 2012, she was looking for a hobby. But her journey to painting custom sneakers didn't come in a conventional way. Where did you study? Like, were you at a, like, a, like an art institute or something? No, uh, Instagram, uh, <laughs> Mosh. <laughs> One of the most famous customizers. I just study his work. After a year of watching videos on the internet, Myers opened up an Etsy shop and started her business Customs by Shy, and in classic Buffalo fashion, her Bill's designs took off. And then now I'm getting customs at least two or three times a week of Bill's customs. And I did this custom last year, and Stefan Diggs signed them. But it doesn't stop at the Bills. Eagles fans, Bears fans, Dolphins fans, they're all reaching out to Myers asking for custom sneakers of their favorite teams. Even fans of an arch rival. Oh, I just did some Kansas City Chiefs. They don't like them. <laughs> but <laughs> This all started as a hobby that could maybe cover a utilities bill, but now it's becoming life-changing for Myers and her family. I'm at the point where I feel like I can quit my job soon <laughs> to make it, a, make it a career. Whether it's cleats for underprivileged athletes, wedding sneakers, or even sneakers for cancer patients, she does it all with a smile on her face for one reason. I love Buffalo and just thank you for the support. Guys, I think what's so amazing about these sneakers is that there is zero stencil work done. Every single thing that she does is freehand. We'll have links to her website where you can find all of the custom sneakers that she has available at WKBW.com. But guys, seriously, I mean, how talented are yeah. some people? Well, and the fact that she's doing it all freehand, yeah. not only for Buffalo, but for other communities, that's super cool. Though the Kansas City issue, I think, is a huge sticking point for me. <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> you know, I have to assume those are the kind of sneakers who you wouldn't want to be wearing in the rain, no. especially if it was... Gross outside yeah. for a tailgate or something uh -huh. when it starts to get snowy and mucky out uh -huh. there. It, yeah, those are inside sneakers for sure. Yes, yeah. they are. James, thank you. What do you think, Aaron? That's not a, a rainy day kind of shoe, huh? Not a rainy day kind of shoe. And, you know, she's got to pay the bills, so she has to make the Kansas City sneakers. Yeah, I guess We're okay right. with that. But there was a giant groan in here when we saw that she was doing that. That was really cool. I can't believe she does it all freehand as well. It was amazing.